Praise the Lord, ladies. Amazing. Oh, ladies, we do have some work to do this morning. We want to lift all the requests to the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. So ladies, uh, Reverend, she is uh, very sick. She has COVID. And um, she has pre-existing conditions that could be fatal. And we, Sister Zeno, put this request up a few days ago, but we want to continue to pray. Hallelujah. So let's pray for uh, Reverend. She's a minister. And we know how the enemy likes to mess with those. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, she is your daughter. He is your master. <laughs> we have another prayer request in front of us. There's a family that uh, it's sister. Her first cousin passed away. But now, just imagine this, two years before his sister passed away. Mm -hmm. So that means within the past three years, her aunt has lost two of her children. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, that's hard. Okay? So let's pray for this morning. Oh, my 
we also have two children that are Jesus. not with their mom because she's in ICU. Jesus. We need to pray for those two children and pray uh, for them. Now, we've been uh, on our line a few times with our uh, signs and wonders class. So the Lord is joining her. And now here she is, but God is for her. We're yeah. going to pray for her now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. God. they're both suffering from COVID and they're also in the ICU. I haven't heard an update, so I don't know if they are out. So we're going to pray for them. Total healing and a total recovery. And if they don't know the Lord, we always pray salvation. We yes. always pray salvation in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we yes. lift up Billy and Andrew to you, God. Yes, 
her mom has a background of a false religion the mom was recently hospitalized and the husband their faith they the Whatever little bit they have, I know the Lord will use it. But we're praying salvation yes. over the mom and over and over his husband that they all three will come to know the Lord Jesus yes. as their savior. Yes, we pray for physical healing, but we pray salvation first. So yes. let's pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Isako Shabbat. Word of God, if we want to keep praying for her we want to pray. This is, remember, she um, is part of our prayer group. She lost a daughter, and now there's another daughter that's on life support in the hospital. So we need to continue to pray for her. We need to pray for healing for Sister her heart, healing and the grief, and the, against fear and intimidation. Oh, and then we pray for healing for this daughter. The daughter has a little girl. They both had COVID. 
So the little girl, the eight year old is still here. So, I mean, this is very, um, it's a very delicate thing. And I just want you to lift, I want you to lift your hearts and stand if you would be, if you had an eight year old for life support and you needed someone fighting for you. Yes. Let's pray for her. Father, yeah. name of Jesus. I'm going to pray this morning. Let's pray for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
In the name of Jesus, your love, oh God. Use them as light. Thank you. Use them as light. Use them as light. And let nothing smother the light. Light up their continent, oh God. In the name of Jesus, 
breathe on her this morning. Ah, yes, nah, ma, sa, sa, sa. Breathe the breath of God over her. in the name of Jesus over her body, over her mind. Surround her with your presence, oh God. And let her know, oh God, that you are God. Oh, God. She'll open her mouth, oh God, and allow you to fill it. And it place, oh God, in the name of Let her know she has not forgotten. Thank you, Lord. Every lie that's surrounding him, God, reveal a lie to him, oh God, that he would see, oh God, and know for sure he that it is a lie and the name let him fall out of agreement with every lie. Every lie, every lie, deliver him. There is no power like unto your power, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm so. Open his eyes. Oh, see God. That he will see you high and lifted up above everything. Oh, God. Go on to yourself. Oh, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I know my katata. I know my koko masiti yaha. No, no more. No, uh, no, no, I see. I know, I see. I know, I see. I, I, not one of our children do we give over. Do we give up? You so go la basata ta ta ta. Yana no 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 so ba 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 sa ta. You can call out the names of your children. Oh la basata before the Lord. Just call out the names. Say their names out loud to the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah. Listen, we want to pray for three pastors. I'm going to tell you their names, but we're going to pray one at a time because there's a specific way we're going to pray, okay? The first one we're going to pay for, pray for is Pastor. Now, the Lord has positioned him to influence other pastors. We want to pray for the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost to rest upon him mightily. That the winds of revival. You shall go la basa ta 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 and them every pastor that he is influencing. You saw la basa ta every pastor that he's over, every pastor he's connected to. That the winds of fire and revival will flow through him. You shall go la basa ta. So his name is Pastor. You shall la basa ta. Father, in the name of Jesus, pray for Pastor right now. And the Jesus, I pray, O God, that you would pray. I pray, O God, that your mighty hand would be God. that you would uphold him. With your right hand of power. I pray that you would free breath into him. Breath of God. Let wind the wind God, oh God, oh God, to lead, oh God, God, the pastors, oh God, pastors of other faith, oh Lord Jesus, into this apostolic church, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, for boldness in the Holy Ghost, wisdom, oh God, from the bow, oh God, 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 from the Holy Ghost, oh God, to do the work that you want me to do, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, I pray for revival to spread, oh God, from this church to other churches, oh God. As we, oh, our Messiah, as you worship with other pastors, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. If we are put on a massacre, yellow Messiah, God, in Jesus' name, to be able to train, oh God, people in oh the work of the ministry, oh God. I will be God. Now, many pastors, ministers, Evangelists will come out of his church, oh God. Akayala Basaya, Bakriya Haka, to mentor others, oh God, oh Lord. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. That I want to pray for. I want to pray for his strength, for his heart, for his peace. Isa Oraba, for his wife. Oh, 
in Jesus name but their children God the Lord, thank you for our pastor. Thank you for our pastor. Yes. Thank, thank you, you for pastor. pastors. Oh God. Thank, thank you, Lord, for our leaders and our shepherds. Oh, guide us closer to you, oh God. Oh, oh, God. oh God. teach us, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord, for so many of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, is um my husband pastor that uh, god has given him uh, a worldwide vision and, uh, i just pray that the lord was super god has put so much in hands but i pray that the lord was supernaturally uh, infused him with the wisdom and the knowledge mm-hmm. to put it all together in the name of yeah. Jesus. Mm-hmm. That God has for the wisdom. Yes, my God. For, for, for those that found out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
be joining them of God in the endeavor of God they go on missionary trips of God Thank you, Lord, for their burdens of God. To be a, a kita to be a blessing to others. So that we yeah. live on, the rock that we yeah. live on, the rock yeah. of our salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
prayer movement. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let's oh, God will be pushed to pray. Thank you. Yes. It comes oh, from you. Yes. Lord Jesus, oh God, hallelujah. Your hope for my contentment. Your hope for all I do. Yes. You are the center of my joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anna, can you sing that? Do you know that song? Will you sing it? Just worship or then you'll sing it however you want you to sing it. For the center of my joy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All that's good and perfect. Yes. Comes from you. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You're the heart of my contentment. Yes. Yes. Hope for all I do. Only hope. Jesus, Jesus, you're the center of my Lord. joy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, yes. you're the center of my joy. Hola, ma. Hola, ma. All that's good and perfect. Yeah. Comes from you. Oh, all that's good. Thank oh, you. the heart of my The heart of my yeah. The hope for all I do. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Let's give my, the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, I'm you. Oh, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Zeno. Mr. Zeno, you're here, right? Are yes, you I am. I am. Okay, okay. here's the debate about this job. Right. And we negotiated and we got to a good number. They extended the offer. I accepted the offer. And all was full steam ahead. And God said no and closed the door and he let me stay where I am. But before he did that, he knew I was going to have a fit. So he gave me the script <laughs> that said, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank, so I'm going to paraphrase it. It said, um, in all things, if because this is the will of God concerning you. So when I heard the news, I was like, humbled as a child. I just, I Amen. Just, okay. All right. You're not finished. Yeah. You're not finished. Yes, so that's a testimony. Although the door closed and it didn't go according to what I wanted and what I planned and what I desired, I still say it's a testimony because God is still controlling my life. I'll mess up every time. Um, the second one is that, um, oh, I went to the doctor yesterday for the test on my throat. And so uh, the, the doctor told me that um, my vocal cords are a little swollen, but he said, all you have to do is go on voice rest. No mm -hmm. more, no more long talking. Don't speak loudly. And, Voice and take speech therapy. And I, why is that a testimony? Because that just tells me that the enemy wants me to stop praying because I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that. Mm -hmm. so it's a testimony that the mm -hmm. enemy tipped his hand. We're not stopping prayer. I'm going to pray every single morning mm -hmm. that the Lord gives me breath. Mm -hmm. And if 
me up with a mind to pray. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sing loud. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pray loud. I'll pray soft. I'll pray mm -hmm. loud. Mm -hmm. Lord has me to do it. So that's mm -hmm. exactly what y'all. Because mm -hmm. it's, 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 he's doing something here. He shouldn't have done that. Because now, mm -hmm. hey. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for sending messages. Messages. Don't love them. I'll tell you what. The Lord's going to have to heal me supernaturally because I will not. As long as I have I will not stop crying out to him. So I just going to have to be a supernatural healer. Hallelujah. Lord for doctors, for confirming the Lord. Thank you. So with that, this is a good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you. I just pray the Lord in such a peaceful mind. I'm 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. people of God are just <laughs> coming before him and you know just yeah. allowing God to just uh, yeah. receive it all yeah. don't want to interfere with that hallelujah hallelujah yeah. God is, God yeah. is awesome. yeah. well guess what I'm here in California where you all are yeah. most of you all <laughs> but I'm, I'm yeah. 
I'm up on the Fresno side or Bakersfield side, if you want to call it that. But I'm here and I'm just thankful for everything that the Lord has done this morning. It's this awesome prayer for everything. I um, literally enjoyed all the prayer. And I, I want to say that uh, God gave me some interesting things was as I was praying. Yes. One of them was for Pastor Delgado. Yes. And one of the things that the Lord had me say is send his, you know, uh, pastors open their mouth and they speak things. Mm -hmm. And I saw Pastor Delgado. As he opened his mouth, there was arrows being sent of anointing to their destination. Mm. And I, I never, I never prayed with that kind of wording before. That the Lord was, Mr. Zeno, arrows, I had to open his mouth, arrows were being sent. Yes, to their destination. And, uh, yeah. In other words, there was targets. Yeah. And when he opened his mouth and say things, they were like arrows shooting oh, from his amazing. mouth and they had destination. It wasn't just arrows flying in the air. Right. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my God. And I took note of that because I thought that was very special. Oh, my God. Uh, how the Lord yes. gave that to me. And then the yes. other was, um, I was praying for your husband, Sister uh, Brother Wilkes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I yes. said, open the treasures of your word because that I know that's what he likes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that he may declare them. Yes, we need more pastors to do that, where they open up and find treasures that's in the word. That, yeah. Right. You know, the normal person doesn't really find because of, they don't study in a deeper way. But I believe Brother Wilkes is studying. Yeah, he's looking for those morsels, yeah. those treasures. And I want him to find them because I want to hear them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So many prayers went for us. And I just, awesome, awesome prayer. Well, uh, I talked to one of my mothers yesterday that I babysit for. She's a Christian. Her, my matter of fact, she's a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. And she was talking to me about how she deals with fear. And she wants to know how to fight against this thing called fear. And I just wanted to, I, I was so brief, I couldn't, you know, I, I just wanted to flutter with some scripture, but, you know, uh, not enough time because she was uh, in a hurry. But uh, so I, it's kind of been on my heart, this thing called fear. And I believe every one of us here on this prayer line is uh, has to deal with that yeah. not because you have it but because it likes to come and and speak loud just like you know sister Wilkes. you went to the doctor and he said you got to shut your mouth yeah <laughs> so and i know you you don't want to do that <laughs> i i thought he was a messenger from satan <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well, <laughs> as long as we have breath, right? That's it. Hallelujah. So we, we uh, and and I don't say that was a fear thing for you, but, um, you know, it, it, it's a, it's kind of a, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's kind of a stunning little spirit yeah. Yeah. that wants to mess with us. So, uh. I, I brought some scripture into that this morning, and I left my little light that I put on my, because my, my eyes now don't get the light in like it should hey. for me to, for me to see words sometimes, you know, that's just an old thing, but um, I left my light, so I was really trying to find this scripture this morning, but I found it, the, if you get determination in your and what you're trying to do, you'll end up with what you're looking for. But yeah. even if you have some difficulties there. So I'm going to go to First uh, John 
four and 16, I believe I got it here. Okay, now I'm going to start reading. It says, and we have known and believed the love that God hath for us. And God is love, you know, the agape love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. So now uh, it says, we have known and believed. So we have felt God's love, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. When you got the Holy Ghost, that was God's love being poured into you. And, uh, and when you receive that kind of love, you know, the, your belief in that God it was very um, apparent because you were experiencing his love. So that was uh, the beginning of our, that was an experience that had God had given us with his love, his loving kindness, his tender mercies come to us. And then it says, uh, and it says, believe that the love that God had for us. In other words, uh, we believe that he's got this love for us. Okay. Just a moment. I'll see you after work. Okay, honey. Yeah. Love you. The house is being emptied. <laughs> <laughs> here, here in my son's house. They're going to work. And uh, so he just came to say bye, and I thought that was pretty nice. That's so beautiful. I, I heard that. I thought, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that uh, uh, what I'm doing here is, is kind of a, a big splash in his life because he just got cats and dogs that kind of run the house. So <laughs> Here's mom with her God in his house. <laughs> and anyway... Um, and so we, we've experienced God's love. See, God is love. So listen to that. God is love. Amen. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. Mm -hmm. And God in him. In other words, when we are partakers of this God that loves us, yeah, now we are in love. We are dwelling in his love. And that yeah. makes us, that makes him in us and us in him, see? So, uh, herein oh, is our love. Uh, huh? That's herein good. Is our, all right, yes, it is good. Hallelujah. Herein is our love made perfect. Now listen, fear, uh, and I will bring it out in the scripture here in a minute, but the fear comes to take a bucket of cold water uh, spiritually and dump it on us that's what it's trying to do it's trying to put out that love Come on. when fear when fear comes to us it's it's to throw a wet cold damp to our spirits yeah and douse away the love that god has for us so uh the enemy just know the enemy wants to replace his the love that you feel from god he wants to place fear there. Mm. He wants to divert your attention away from the God of love to the situation that, that's fearful to you. So here is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Yes. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Jesus. So if we if we take hold of this love that we we have in God, yeah, we've experienced it now, so mm -hmm. we know that it's there, yeah. and it's available to us. Uh, then, when that fear does come, we have something to stand boldly against it. Yes, and that's what we need. That's what this lady that I was this this pastor's wife. That's what she needs. She she's not got a hold of some scripture, evidently, and she mm. needs. And she was brought up in church, yeah. So you know, it, it's just a matter of. Uh, see, the word tells us what to do with some things that come our way, and here he's telling us how to handle fear, because every one of us are going to have this come to us on a on a if not daily basis, maybe not daily, but. 
it's going to come to us in our life and our walk with the Lord. It's going to come to destroy that love and try to get us to be fearful. So we need to know how to handle that. So, uh, and that, and that how you handle it is to have this word in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and sometimes we just don't know where that word is that we need to embrace. So go hunting. That's what I'm giving you a clue here. Don't just rely on your pastors and your, and the teachers, you know, get busy and get in there and, and search it for yourself. Hunt for that thing that, that you need to hang on to so that you have something to fight against the fear. Because there is no fear in love. That's it. But perfect love casteth out fear. So there's the remedy right there. Yeah. So if you have fear, you got to turn and you got to get into the love of God again if, or renew or, you know, it's not that it leaves you. It just kind of, sometimes you just kind of, you're not paying attention that you have this beautiful love from God. And you have it available for you to reach into, which prayer is where you get to it. Yeah. You know, when you, when, and the word, get the word and the prayer and begin to uh, draw close like we did this morning. See, I feel much better this morning. When I first woke up, I was so tired. <laughs> And, and I, you know, was I was dealing with my flesh, but once I got into that, oh, awesome! I was happy, and I was I was ready, you know, I was ready to uh, receive of the Lord everything, all the prayers that went up this morning, everything, all that we were doing was so beautiful to me, yeah, and beautiful to the Lord, I'm sure. Uh, so there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. Listen to that. That's right. That fear that comes to you wants to torment you. You would not put up with anybody coming into your house and tormenting anybody in your family or yourself. You would tell them to leave, probably. And uh, so you you don't need to put up with it in the spiritual Okay. Sister, I, whoops, I heard you. <laughs> you. You came against the voice. You know, the thing the doctor said about your voice. You oh, came yeah. up and rose up against it. See, that's what we got to do. We have to rise up against. Don't allow the enemy just to run over you. Yes. Yes. And just snow you over with whatever. Yes. Because yeah. God gave you choice. God gave us choices. Yeah, we that? get to make a choice. We don't have to put up with it. Amen. Uh, Amen. He that, yes. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So when you accept the fear, know that, that you what you need is to get into that love. Yeah. So he that feareth is not made perfect in mm -hmm. love. Because so your your love is diminishing. That's what it, it's that's saying right. here. That's so right. Get out of that atmosphere of that fear and get into the get into prayer and get Come into on. where God is and His love is, Come and on. He will be given. He'll strengthen you and give you the confidence that you need to fight against it. That's good. Whatever it may be, you know, you have troubles in life. We all have troubles in life. Yes, and and it likes to come and make us think it's going to overtake us. And destroy us, mm -hmm. yeah. or take away from us. You know what? You know, take away our loved ones, or whatever it may be that is coming against you in a fearful way. Right. And then this the this little little tiny verse that comes under all that. It says, "We love him because he first loved us." So we come in contact with this love because he first brought it to us. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we weren't uh, we didn't have the ability evidently to reach out and get that love. We didn't understand it. So what happened is he came to us and he poured his love upon us, that loving kindness, that tender mercies, and wooed us to him. And we experienced that love. And now yeah. we don't want to let go of it. I don't want to let go of it. 
there is no other love in this world that I've ever experienced as much as I've, you know, there's other kind of love, but this love that God has is, mm. is uh, so desirable. You don't want to give it up. Mm. That's what keeps me coming to the throne is to know that God loves me and yes. that he's the answer to all things. He's the hope of my life. Yeah. And the, the only reason, even the hope isn't as good to me as knowing he loves me. And he yeah. loves me unconditionally, that agape love. And so that make, makes me come to him because I know that uh, no matter what I'm feeling or what I'm going through, he's going to make the difference if I just get there to him. Yeah. Um, so that's what prayer is for. Prayer is to connect to that love so that we can get filled up again. Filled up with whatever it is that we, you know, there's some lack in us. So we're there to get that lack build up so we can walk out in the world and become you know bold where we don't have to put up with somebody you know uh, uh, in the negative try to put pressure us uh, you know in what our belief uh, you know knowing what we believe in my and, uh, and having that experience with him that's what they try to do they kind of drain you want to come and suck that out of you but he, when you got Jesus you got this strength and power that you just got from prayer. There's no way they're going to suck that from you. Yes. You're going to, you're going to stand boldly and, and probably be the best witness they've ever had. They, they probably snowed a lot of weak Christians over with their mouths and their, their arrogance. But when they come up against a real Christian who's got together now, they, they, they don't know what that's like. And they can be converted. They can be con totally converted over. Amen. Because what's going on there is they don't know this God. They only know that, you know, everything that they think, you know, all the negatives that, uh, oh, God isn't real or God doesn't do this or, you know, or sometimes they even mock the Lord, which makes me kind of angry with them. But anyway. I have to kick that little thing out the door and not be angry. Just allow God's love to flow and uh, and the confidence that I have within me to be that what they need to hear. Amen. They need to hear somebody that knows God. Amen. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Psalms 3 and 6. I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people. I don't know where I'm at in this time either. I might be going over time now. It's uh, it is uh, yeah, it's seven twenty-eight. So there's okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just I'll take this one verse and then we'll stop. Okay. So I can I can continue tomorrow. Maybe finish yeah. tomorrow. That's so, what I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, did I? Did you ask me where? Yes. Psalms three and six. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me around about. That's a lot of people. That would be very okay. fearful if I had ten thousand people coming yeah. at me. Right. But uh, I know this is probably uh, exaggerated a bit. But it, what he's making a statement is is the the, the worst thing scenario. What happened is that 10,000 people came against me. I will say, have set myself, that have set themselves against me round about. And so what it's saying is I'm not going to be afraid of that. Mm, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, if you don't have this God, you don't have this love of God in you and, and him and he's dwelling in you and you, uh, you know, you're, you're involved in him then you will be afraid of that. Yeah. It's it's that it's that connection between you and him that's a fresh the fresh connection that gives you this boldness to be able to say I'm not afraid even though there would be ten thousand of them coming against me. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Standing standing alone. alone. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop here and then we'll we'll go on from here tomorrow. And there's some good scripture that I I want to find more scripture than what I've just found, but 
I got plenty for tomorrow. <laughs> so, Zeno, let's go yes. on with, um, that whole uh, Psalm 3. You want me to go, Sue? How oh, are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, right. and a lifter of oh, mine. Oh, yeah. great. That's wonderful. Yes, I didn't go on with it because I'm, what I'm doing is I'm bouncing off the of scriptures here. Yeah. So. No, I just felt courage when I read them. I, I like that. I the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of the holy hill. Mm. I beat mm. down the left. I await for the Lord sustain me. Yes. I will be afraid of 10,000s of people yes. that have set themselves against me round about. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, Lord. Sit, oh my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone, and that was the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy yes. blessing is upon thy people. Yes. All right. and he, you know, when, when people come up against you, if you if you know this scripture right here, these, these words, you stand back and you go, they don't know what they're doing, but they're going to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. wrong with you thinking like that. That's right. No. Not, you're not wishing that upon them, but they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So God is going to take care of it. Yeah. He, he, he comes in he, and he's defending us. Yeah, that's true. And we may not, we may not totally see how he's doing it, but he will defend you. Yeah, yes, that's right. And our only job is to stay in the place of love. Amen. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's we do, we we don't get out of that because if we do, we're getting just in a bad place just as they are. So that's right. Yeah, I agree. Yes, you know, um, uh, First John chapter four. Um, verse 7, that let us love one another, for love is of God. Yes. And every loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. Not God. Amen. <laughs> love. <laughs> yes. That's why we have. That's why we have to love our brother. Yeah, because if we don't love him, then the Lord says there's no love of God in you. It's not in us. And and that what he's meaning is you you need to come to me and so I can pour that in you so you would have that love for them. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's possible when he pours that love in us, that's that's how we love. Right. And that's the antidote, by the way. If you have hate for your brother. Know that you need to go to the God of love. Yeah. That he may dwell, that he may pour his love inside of you. Yeah. And push out that hate. Yeah. God's love coming inside is going to push it out. No. Um, that's what makes you want to go and say, you know, brother, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, or sister, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't, I want to make things amended things here. I want, I want things right with us. If there was a quarrel or some problem, you know. Yeah. Amen. That takes a lot of humility. Um, and uh, dying to the right to be right. You know? Yeah. Yes, uh, but I, it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. But it has, it has to, to be done. done with God. That's it. You if you try to do it without God, forget it. You're not going to do it. You're yeah. going to say, I'm sorry. But inside of you, are going to say, I'm not sorry. You're going to still be burning. <laughs> yeah, still, you go home and you'll still have an odd against this person. That's amazing. It, it's get rid of the getting rid of the odd. Yeah, and the only place to get rid of it is to go to go to the Lord in prayer and just really. I mean, you have to touch the Lord. Yeah, and you know one of the things that the enemy uses against a person like that huh. is is he says you don't want to do that. You don't want to go to God. You don't want to give it up. It's like they're holding this baby and they don't want to give that baby away. So that was that's a hindrance for somebody who's holding on against somebody. Yeah. Is they don't want to give up that ought. Mm -hmm. It feels good to them. They have a reason. Oh, they did me wrong, so I have a reason for holding that thing. Yes. Yeah. But it's it's a contamination to our souls if we All do right. that. 
It is, Sister Tina. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And I'm sure we all have had that experience before. We've had oh, something. Yeah. Yes. All the time. Mm-hmm. And another thing is, is uh, just know that, yeah, you may not want to give it up, but just make yourself do what you know is right to do. That what the scripture tells us to do. Do That's that which is right. And then, because it's sent to us if we don't. Yeah. All right. And then yeah. we take it to the Lord. And it may be more than one time we have to keep going and keep going until the Lord just delivers us from that. Mm-hmm. And it's not always a one-time prayer deal. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, so she's saying, you know, it would be nice if you could stay in um, First John chapter 4 some more. Because that's all okay. based on that. And I think yeah. that we can skip steps, you know, in our um, personal lives. But it's so clear, the design and the plan that God has for us to love. Yes. It, and it's it's so funny because it's connected with fear. Yes. And the fact of it connects us to fear. And um, I think it's, it's, it's worthy and it's worth spending the time there. So I know you have some other scriptures, but please elaborate on that whole chapter. Okay, uh, I'll do that. You're talking uh, about First John 4, right? That's correct. Okay, I'll do that. You know, I used to say um, thing. It says, um, "Be quick to forgive, quick to ask for forgiveness, and always stand in the place of love." Like that's a um, that's a balance, and that's something that uh, God put in the forefront of my mind um, some years ago. And that it's it's easy to say it quick to forget quick to ask for forgiveness and always stand in the place of love it sounds wonderful it's so quick to say and easy on the lips easy <laughs> not easy a, to do that's right <laughs> that's right but you know one thing about uh this is uh, a lot of times we think it's all going to happen because it's got to happen in me but no it actually has to happen because God is working in me. Mm-hmm. He, he It's his supply that's going to push out the wrong. It's in us. And sometimes we get it all backwards. We think we have to, it's about us, and it's about a changing of my mind. Well, you're not going to change your mind if you're not talking to him and you're not getting, it, getting from him the very thing that's going to make it leap from you. Yeah. And I think uh, you look at it as like a, you know, there's some kind of a black thing there. And you have, you don't have by yourself the strength to push that black thing out. You have to go to God and it's him working in you, pushing it out. It's him. He's the one that's going to be able to get you, get that out of you. Mm. If you think that you got to have a set mind to go, to God, your mind is set now. I'm going to get rid of this thing. It may not happen because you're not going to have that. But the only thing you have to understand is where I get it from, where right. I'm going to get my help from. That's what you have to understand. Mm-hmm. You don't have to think I got to get rid of it because if you do, you're going to think you're going to not want to go to God. So it's it's just knowing that's where you have to get. It's like. Oh, I got this cancer in me. Well, you're not going to get that cancer out of your body. You got to go to a surgeon. Mm-hmm. He's got to come in and take it and cut it out of you. Yep. That's what God does for us. He's the okay. surgeon that cuts it out of us. We just go to him and say, this thing is in me. I don't know what to do with it. You don't have to figure all, all these things out how to accomplish it. You just have to let the surgeon take care of it. Okay, I gotta shut up because I know I'm late. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, so let's wrap up, ladies. Thank you for your patience, and I know um, everyone has to go. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this wonderful time of fellowship in the Lord. The word and prayer and song and worship, just being in your presence, oh God, it's better. It's the other place I'd rather be, God. Hallelujah. There's no other place that I'd rather be. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's better here, oh God. 
Hallelujah. I thank you for your presence this morning. I thank you for your face shining upon us this morning. Hallelujah. I ask that you bless every lady that called in. Oh, God. Or even the ones that have to hang up already. Would you bless them in a special way? Yes, Lord. Walk with them along the day. With all of us, God. Hallelujah. Be Mm -hmm. with us, oh, God. And we call up. Let us fill you, God. Oh, God. Fill the people. Oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Keep us. Well, keep our minds, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yes, God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank Blessed day, lady. Thank you.